Hey everybody, Billy from Spicy Ginger Soap. I'm going to make lemonade. Um, I've made this several times. This is this and Avo Bath. The Avo Bath dupe are my um, best sellers, and um, it's one of my favorite scents. So I call it Electric Lemonade, and I do it in bright colors. Last time I did. Banana Boat Yellow from Crafter's Choice, which I'm using again. Radical Red, Micahs and More. This time I'm using Golden Green from Micahs and More, which I used Galaxy Purple last time, and Turquoise Teal from Crafter's Choice. So I did the green instead of the purple this time. Um, I don't know, I just felt like it. No specific reason, I just wanted to. So. Go ahead and get to it. I'm going to go ahead and try not to incorporate a bunch of air bubbles when I pour my lye water in. And this one, um, it doesn't accelerate, but it's it's not a slow mover either. So um, no dilly dallying, but it's not like I have like it's gonna go crazy on me or anything like that. It should be fine. All right, so there we go. It's emulsified. I'm gonna do. Actually, not really sure what I want to do right now. Have a couple different things in mind. Um, I was thinking about. I don't really know. I don't know what I want to do right now. I had a couple things going through my mind, but I don't think I'm going to have enough time. I want to do like the ribbon pour or I think they call it a cosmic wave or something like that. I want to try that, but I think I need more time if I'm gonna do something like that. Because that one, I think you need, um, you need to uh, have time to work with it. So maybe I'll just, last time I did, um, just did like a drop pour, drop, well I dropped, did a drop swirl kind of, but then I uh, put the hanger through it. So I did a hanger swirl. That's what I did. Um, and that was fine. And the time for that, I just did a plain drop swirl. Because with all these colors, obviously, um, you know, it's very bright. So a drop swirl looks really pretty. Or a hanger swirl. They both look really pretty with all the different colors. And I'm sure that atomic, um, that atomic swirl or ribbon pour, I think that would look really pretty. I just don't think I've got time to do that. So let's go ahead and, oops. Get these into my colors. Even amounts. My some of my letters, my numbers are uh, wearing off on these. Kind of hard to see. All right, let's see. Well. All right, there we go. That's almost right. Okay, there we go. And then I'm going to put my yellow 
between here. Good thing about this is that if I was using titanium dioxide, it always thickens everything up. So at least all my colors um, will be the same thickness. I don't have to worry about one of them being more than the other. Because that's what always happens to me. It's like when I use titanium dioxide, it always accelerates quicker than everything else and then my colors aren't as thick as my white. Sometimes that makes things difficult. Oops! Woo! Settle down, Billy. Jeez. This is actually really thin. So maybe I can do something else with it. Because yeah, it seems like really... Yeah, nothing's thickening up at all on me right now. Yeah, so you know what? Maybe I will do that, that uh, ribbon pour. That would be fun. Something different. I love all these colors, all these nice, bright, fun colors. This golden green, um, I love it. I like all of these colors that I've got going on tonight. All of them. <laughs> that radical red I've been using a lot in um, several different things. And then this golden green is just so pretty. And that uh, teal. I actually, I realized that um, I've had this for a while and I noticed I was always using my emerald um, green instead of this teal. So I've been trying to use it because it's so pretty and I don't know why, but I like, I wasn't using it in anything. So and look how pretty it is. Isn't that gorgeous? So pretty. Alright, yeah, things are, maybe I'm crazy, maybe it didn't thicken up the last time, because this just seems, everything seems really thin, like too thin. I think I'm going to stick my stick blender in there. If I want to do that ribbon pour, I've got to have a... Um, extra <coughs> container. <coughs> Alright. Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and run my stick blender through every one of these just because Things are so thin. Maybe we can get them a little tiny bit thicker. And with this um, neon one, it's it'll be good to um, make sure everything's like well incorporated. Sometimes um, I don't know why, but the matte colors, the ones that don't have shimmer, they um, tend to be a little bit harder to fully incorporate at least in my opinion.
I got a little bit of bubbling bubbles in this uh, blue. Okay. So, let's see. Got some bubbles in this one too, dang it. Don't want that. Okay. Wow. Isn't that fun? All those colors. Awesome. I should have put down my Matt. Okay, so let's see. Basically, you I don't know if this is like the best color combo to do for this actual, this partic particular pour, but um, it's okay. See how it goes. And actually, you might see, I do rem I did remember correctly. This is starting to thicken up on me. Just basically you just basically do that.
I don't know. I don't know how I like that. I think I'm going to abandon that idea and do something a little bit different. I'll have that just be on the bottom. And then um, I'll go ahead and do something else on the top because I don't really... I think it'll look fine, but it's it's just the colors are running together too much for me. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get something to put this yellow in. Get it in there. And get moving because everything is thick. see why they call it an atomic swirl or whatever it is because it's like really it's kind of like wild looking electric or whatever I guess with the colors I did of course it looks like that all right so let's see I think what I'll do is I'll just I'm gonna go ahead and um, I'm just going to do like a tiger stripe for the rest of it. And I may have to do my yellow in between each color because I've got more yellow than I do of the other colors. Oh my gosh, my blue. Thick. Yeah, that's what I am going to do. I'm going to have to do yellow between each color. kind of have to really like be prepared to think on the fly all the time because um, I wasn't going to be able to finish that particular pour because my soap is just way too thick and you always just have to have something in the back of your mind ready to go or at least just be able to think of something at a moment's notice that you can change um, your mind too <laughs> because otherwise you can get in a bad place and that blue is like super super thick right now I need to get that I need to get that in there looks like kindergarten uh, workshop. Okay. It's funny, my yellow is staying pretty thin actually.
This looks fun to me. And I'm glad I changed and I did the green instead of purple. Um, I like the way that the green looks with the um, yellow. That was one of the reasons I wanted to do it um, was because I felt like it just went better with the yellow. Okay, the rest of this, after I pour, I'm going to leave for the top. All right. I'm gonna clean up my little spills. Go ahead and even that all out. Clean up my sides, and then we'll go ahead and um, finish off the top. have kind of a lot of everything left. I wonder if I can do one more. I don't know. It's just... I wonder if I can just do one more line of each. I think I can. Maybe without the yellow. In between. That's what I'll do. Because <clears throat> it's gotten thick, it's just all up on the sides and whatnot. Yeah, so that's what I'll do. green for the top now. Oh my gosh. Okay. It's all right. I'm going to put the rest of the yellow down in the middle. And then we'll go from there.
Every time I make this, I love the way it smells when I'm making it. it smells so good. All right. That'll be good enough for that one. And then I'm going to go ahead and um, do my blue next because it's getting so thick. There we go, that's perfect. Okay, then I'll do Try to get the pink kind of like on both sides, I think, because I've already got that pink on that uh, on my right side right now. Kind of like use that. Perfect. There we go. And then our pink. Wonder if I can get it. Oh no. This isn't going to be perfect, but that's okay. I know this looks kind of messy, but I'm just trying to work with what I've got. It's so got so thick on me.
go. And then I'm just going to swirl the top. I may just leave it like that. Every time I get a white rag, I swear. I use bright colors and I ruin my white rag. My planning is uh, a little off, I think. All right, so there we go. We're all set. That is electric lemonade and boy, it looks electric, doesn't it? So I'll bring you back tomorrow and we'll cut this and we'll see what it looks like inside see um, how we did. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, and comment, and thank you for watching. Bye-bye. Hey, everybody. Let's go ahead and cut this lemonade loaf. It looks gorgeous on the top. And look at the side. You can see that interesting uh, atomic swirl. Look at the bottom. It does look kind of cool. I just, my, my batter was thickening up. I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to finish the whole loaf like that. And my colors were really coming together, um, mixing together a lot too. So we'll see how this one looks. I did half of that atomic or ribbon pour. And then I did the other half with like a tiger stripe, basically, because things were thickening up so much. So we'll see how this turns out. I'm going to go ahead and just cut it upright. A lot of the time I turn it to the side when I do. And when I cut the tall and skinny, but I'll just leave it like this for now. All right. Let's cut a small piece off the end. Well, that's fun. I love it. I'm good with that. It almost looks like 3D. I don't think you can tell on camera, but like from where I am in person, it looks like 3D-ish. Really neat looking. It's all those neon colors for my electric lemonade. This is awesome. I love it. And I think everybody else will too. Great. This is my favorite electric lemonade that I've ever made. Score. This is one of my like 
most popular fragrances. Everybody loves this scent, including myself. So having this bar that I think looks awesome is just a bonus. And that tiger swirl looks awesome. I love it when it does that U shape. I love it when soap comes out like in a way that makes me smile. Makes me so happy. Just love it. I had a great soaping weekend. Everything turned out beautifully. I didn't have one thing that I didn't like. I liked everything that I did. Can't ask for a better, better weekend than that. Got lots done and was happy with everything I got done. I'm a little tired, but uh, that's okay. It's right before Christmas, so, you know, everybody's getting ready for Christmas, so everybody's tired. December is the month of craziness. Actually, November, too. Everything starts after Halloween and it just flies by from there really it's the way I see it anyways I just really love this soap I love it I am glad I didn't do that whole, that pour the whole way through. I don't think I would have been happy with it. It's too, it's too much for these colors. With different colors that would be fine, but like you can see how it really, really mixes them up. And I fear it would have gotten a little muddy. And it's just too much, but I love it with just a little bit on the bottom. I think that's actually perfect. I'm, I'm glad that I did it the way I did it. I knew I wasn't going to be happy if I did that the whole way through. And things were thickening up also, so it was looking like it wouldn't have worked out to try to do it all that way either. So it turned out good the whole way around. One more full size bar. We just barely. Yeah. Perfect. Beautiful. And then I've got one little piece for some samples.
And that is the end. Two little sample pieces of electric lemonade. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, like, and comment. I can't wait to see you again for my next soap. Bye-bye.